Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video, we're going to do dual unboxing. Motorola just launched these two devices. That's the Moto G10 Power and the Moto G30. So we'll have a look at both these devices in this video. And these are sort of, what do you say, budget-oriented entry-level devices. I don't know the exact pricing, guys, uh, because this is a review on it. Um, and I'm shooting the video just a couple of days before the launch. I'll like add the, uh, what do you say, pricing information in the description when uh, it's launched. The entry level G10 has a Snapdragon 460 SoC, whereas this G30 has a Snapdragon uh, 662 SoC. In fact, uh, Motorola says that G10 power, uh, this specific model is specifically designed for India. Hence, it has that 6000 milliamp hour battery and the G30 has a uh, 5000 milliamp hour battery. We'll open this one first. And guys, as this was a review unit, I also got uh, the reviewer's guide. And there I noticed one thing very peculiar. They were talking a lot about something known as Think Shield. So I googled a little bit. Uh, and as you can see, guys, Think Shield is a new layer. Now they are adding to these Motorola smartphones. And uh, this is a layer that protects your smartphone. And guys, this is not just software. As you can see from the screenshot, it's actually multiple layered hardware security has and also clean OS uh, and also enhanced protection. And uh, according to this slide, it protects your smartphone from malware, phishing, network attacks, etc. Again, I'll leave the link of this thing shield in the description uh, where I got this information. So it's nice to see that Motorola is now adding uh, some sort of protection uh, to these uh, devices also and uh, looks like uh, future Motorola device will also have this thing shield so that's actually a nice thing and again guys uh, both these devices have that clean Android stock UI uh, they come out of the box with Android 11 anyway so let's open this up the first G10 we're going to open it up we have too many seals and let's open so yeah this is the g10 power with that 6000 milliamp hour battery and for 6000 it's not that heavy guys uh, has the 48 megapixel uh, camera system quad camera system and 64 gb of storage uh, this has 4 gigabytes of ram and 64 gb storage guys and as you can see it looks like this is the fingerprint scanner that is obviously plastic guys can't expect a metallic build uh, and this one and uh, let's look at uh, what else do we get some paperwork uh, we are getting a 20 watt uh, fast charger in the box uh, that's an improvement because earlier in the budget range Motorola used to give 10 watt or 15 watt charger so that's nice 20 watt and uh, this should be type C port I hope it's type C yes yes it's a type C port so that's nice and sim ejector tool that's it this is having that Snapdragon 662 and uh, this has a 64 megapixel quad camera and uh, looks slightly wider this actually comes with a case surprisingly the g10 didn't come with a case here the case is we attached so that's what you're getting you can take this out and this is with the snapdragon 662 uh, but here as you can see it's a 90 hertz screen here it's a normal one and both are hd plus guys not full hd but that's what we are getting and uh, it'll be the same accessories i am assuming yes even this has a 20 watt fast charger uh, on the top, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack. This is again plastic, as I've told you guys. We have still have a dedicated key for the Google Assistant, even on this budget one. Uh, volume rocker, this will be a power on-off button. It has some texture, so easy to uh, judge. And bottom will be the speaker, uh, Type-C port, and main microphone. And uh, here, your SIM tray will be there. Let's have a look at the SIM tray. It comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 GB storage, guys. Uh, let's see. So, oh, it also has a rubber gasket. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, uh, this is also IP52. Uh, so, again, splash proof and stuff. So, again, guys, it's a hybrid. I wish it had a triple slot, but we are having a hybrid on uh, this one. And um, so, let's look at this. The slightly bigger brother, I would say, Moto G30. And, of course, you can take out this. This is the case, guys. Again, you can take it out. Again, this is also plastic, guys, at the back. And... Uh, if we go over here, uh, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack. Uh, this one also has a secondary noise cancellation microphone. And here, same thing, the Google uh, dedicated key, assistant key. Then we have the volume rocker, power on-off button. Again, that same uh, gradient, so easily you can feel it. And bottom will be your speaker, Type-C port, main microphone, and your SIM tray. 
But again, this is also a hybrid solution, guys. They should have given a triple slot. Let me do one thing, guys. Let me actually set this up and then we will continue. So guys, I've set up both the devices. So let's have a closer look at the same. Uh, let's look at the G10 first, then we'll come to this G30. And uh, yes, this is slightly more heavier, guys, uh, because that has that 6,000 milliamp hour battery. But the good thing is that again, that stock Android that you're getting no junk or whatever. Uh, only extra app I would say is this Facebook app, if you call that junk. You can actually even uninstall that. So very clean UI. Uh, and we also have FM radio on this one. And we also have the Motorola app. Uh, that's for Motorola customization. If you uh, have ever used a Motorola phone, they have some unique gestures. For example, if you do this double chop, uh, this uh, flashlight comes. If you do the double twist, the camera actually pops up and all those things. So we have that. And you can invoke this. And you can actually customize. Uh, it also has motor display. That's actually nice. So here, if you just leave it and I feel, try to pick it up, I think so the motor display comes. If you leave it for some time, yeah, see, as you can see. So it shows you the notifications and stuff over here. It has the fingerprint scanner here and uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, and quick toggles over here. And guys, uh, here are the specs uh, for the same. Uh, this is powered by the Snapdragon 460 SoC. So I would say uh, this is not for hardcore users or people who do a lot of gaming and stuff. But let's say if you have people, elders, etc. in your house, and you want to give them a stock Android phone without any hardware and stuff, then certainly you can. Uh, I haven't installed anything, guys. As you can see, nothing I have installed. Let's see how much storage do we uh, get. It's actually installing uh, some updating some apps in the background via Wi-Fi but let's see and uh, if we go to the storage as you can see out of that 64 gigabytes roughly you'll get about 47.28 gigabytes that is actually available to you uh, so that's regarding the storage that you will uh, get and if you go to about the phone uh, this is uh, actually a device if I go to software information uh, yes, out of the box, uh, this is running on Android 11. So guys, Android 11 out of the box that you are getting. So you're getting the latest version of Android on this one. So that's actually a nice thing. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it. You're getting Android 11. So uh, again, very clean UI that you're getting. Uh, fingerprint scanner, let's test again. And yes, it takes about half a second, guys. I tap, yes, half a second it takes. But let's see uh, this speaker on this. Uh, we also have a dedicated Google Assistant key over here. And let's just go here. And let's just play one of my own videos. So speaker, single speaker. Adequately loud. Let's get this. Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. In fact, oh, let's uh, go to four. Ago, uh, in the first week of February, I had posted actually. So, guys, single speaker. Uh, it's not the loudest, I would say, but adequately loud gets the job done. And uh, as of now, the Snapdragon 460 is able to handle it. As you can see, left we have the Google Pane and all these things. This might be good for uh, people who want a very tight budget or you want to give it to your parents, etc. Because it has the clean UI without any ads, then yeah. Let's look at this one. And guys, uh, uh, here are the specs for this one. The big thing is, uh, this comes with the Snapdragon 662. And yes, this is also HD+. Plus. I wish it was full HD+. Plus. But the thing is that this is on 90 hertz. And definitely, I can say this is way more smoother in UI because it's at 90 hertz. Another thing that I noticed is that uh, if you go over here, it, this one actually also has NFC. So that's actually a nice thing. And uh, let me actually show you, uh, if you go towards here inside the settings, and here if you go to the display, actually, uh, auto brightness and all those things are there even on this one the auto brightness is there guys I've just disabled because my camera acts funny if I keep the auto brightness on and uh, if I go over to the what do you say peak no uh, where did they, we have an option to huh, display refresh rate by default it was auto but you can force it to 60 or 90 I'm just keeping it on 90 and uh, definitely I have to say uh, it's actually fluid in uh, UI uh, you notice that no jitters and stuff and uh, yeah it's a little bit more smoother and again no bloatware even on this one as you can see fm radio is there uh, that facebook uh, and that's moto app is also there on this one so you can customize stuff that moto actions uh, so you have this double chop 
and all those gestures that twist for the camera and all those things you have uh, so you can actually customize all that even on uh, the smartphone moving to the cameras guys I see a difference uh, again both of them having that quad camera setup uh, on the G10 it's a 48 megapixel then 8 megapixel ultra wide then we have two uh, again 22 megapixel that's for macro and depth uh, again this one big difference is the main camera is 64 megapixel uh, so we have the motor display even on this one I like it so we have it on both the devices actually uh, let me do one thing let's just uh, see the fingerprint scanner on even this one yes again as you can see takes about half a second that animation it is responsive but that animation is there that's why you see that delay but yeah responsive again did not fail even once so uh, let's look at the camera interface it will be the same for both guys I'm just going to show it here to you with one of the device this is the G30 and we have this one X it says and uh, this is that Oh, this is ultra wide, second one. And third is that macro. Yeah, this is the close up macro or whatever. Yeah. So you have this three over here from here. And uh, if we go over here to other modes, we also have night vision on this one, portrait mode, and all those things are over here. We even have a pro mode, so that's actually nice. So let's look at the front facing camera front facing camera there's a difference guys on uh, this one the budget uh, end it's a 8 megapixel front facing camera whereas on uh, this one it's a 13 megapixel uh, front uh, camera these were shot with the moto g10 and outdoor as you can see it does a decent job this was with the portrait mode and but again if the lighting is not good it struggles a little bit as you can see in this tricky shot but overall if the lighting is okay as you can see you can get some uh, pretty good shots even with this uh, Moto G10. Now moving to indoor conditions, uh, these were taken. It did an okay job, but there was that slight softness in the pictures. Now these were shot with the G30 and definitely the G30 has a little bit more punch, I would say. It's sharper uh, and all the colors are a little bit more vibrant as you can see. Even in the portrait mode, I feel it does actually a pretty good job. And these are again some casual samples that I took outdoors and these were taken in indoor conditions and here also i feel it did a okay job but again that slight softness in the picture is definitely uh, there in indoor artificial lighting conditions the front facing camera in outdoor lighting actually does a good job as you can see with this uh, samples and even the g10 does the same uh, in outdoor conditions it's good but when we move to indoor lighting conditions the front facing camera is not that optimized and the pictures come out to be soft as you can see and this was the case even with the moto g10 so i hope they improve the front facing camera performance with software updates so guys uh, that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this moto g10 and the moto g30 so what do you guys uh, think about these uh, devices do let me know in the comment section uh, below uh, and anyways guys that's it for now again for the exact pricing check the description guys and guys again if you are not subscribed to the youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys